Hello and welcome back to Battletech Extended 3025 to 3057 Commander's Edition. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can drop more than four mechs. That's right, how you can drop more than one full lance in combat missions. Now, if you've installed the Battletech Extended 3025 to 3057 Commander's Edition, as well as the full mission control and bigger drops mods, then you will be able to deploy more than four mechs in what I call procedural or side missions. This does not work for main storyline missions or priority missions. So I am currently demonstrating this in my Arana Restoration campaign. You can check out the full series. I'll put cards up in the top, so check that out. To do this, once you've installed the mods, I'll also put a card or note uh, and links in the description so check check that out on how to install the mods and all that fun stuff so once you've installed the mods and you have the argo either in the campaign or you have it hey, uh, nice in career go to engineering and in engineering you're going to have an option for command and control and effectively there are upgrades that allow you to expand the your options to deploy more mechs and mech warriors. So here you can see I've upgraded the drop size. So effectively we spend one point is a 1.5 million or so to purchase another leopard. Uh, we have a junkyard leopard. So we actually repair it to be able to drop um, an additional mech. And then mech control, this allows us to have control over an additional mech warrior on the battlefield. So with these three upgrades alone, when I come over to my command center, and I take on a mission. So I need procedural missions. So these are from the Arana Restoration, but they are not priority missions. When we negotiate a contract, we're just going to accept. You can see here I have additional options. Now, right now, I can only deploy one additional mech. So I can kind of put someone in there and then deploy with five mechs. Now, as I upgrade different aspects of the Argo, that will unlock additional options here. They kind of expand just like they do for the regular ones where more options become available as you kind of build and upgrade different things. So effectively, we'll be able to increase the tonnage to make sure we can drop heavy and assault mechs. We'll be able to drop or increase the number of mech, uh, mechs and mech warriors we control on the battlefield. So that's how this works. Just like just because you install the mod doesn't mean you magically can deploy eight mechs. You still have to upgrade things through command and control and engineering to be able to do that. So I wanted to post a video on this. There were a few questions that I got on a few other videos I posted. Uh, check out the description. I will link Nexus mods where you can pick up and install the Commander's Edition. Uh, check out the cards. There'll be cards to my Arana Restoration 3049 uh, Commander commander's edition extended campaign uh, so that's the campaign uh, we already see the uh, clans invading because i chose a 3049 starting time period uh, and then i'll also link in cards up there uh, a video to how to install uh, the BattleTech Extended Commander's Edition. So hopefully you found this video helpful. I am actively trying to grow my channel, so please consider subscribing and dropping this video and other videos you enjoy a thumbs up, and hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.